Duete de Schipoli. It is your Maggie Stare for sixth grade Latin, Mr. Herman himself. I am here uh, to tell you a few bad jokes, I'm sure. Don't get me wrong. We all know those are going to happen. But also to get you all to think about taking Latin, choosing Latin as your language here at Basis Scottsdale. So the way it'll work in seventh grade, you will get to pick your language, and Latin is one of those choices. So I'm here to tell you why that is a great idea uh, for you in your basis career. Obviously, Latin can be a lot of fun. We know that, uh, but it is also a very highly organized and very logical language. So for those of us that like logic or putting puzzles together, Latin is a great uh, resource to help you build those analytical skills uh, that will help you further beyond just Latin, right? Obviously, throughout this year, you've heard me all, you've heard me talk about all of the languages you can learn from Latin as the father of, uh, or the parent language, excuse me, of all the other Romance languages, Portuguese, Spanish, French, Romanian, and Italian. We all know that, but beyond those five, there are still a lot of languages that you will be able to learn just by knowing how Latin works. So, you want to learn one language? Take one language, but you want to learn more than one language? Latin is a great place to start. Beyond this, you want to talk about Rome? You want to talk about ancient history? Julius Caesar and the Civil Wars? It's worth it, trust me, especially when you get to translate it in the actual Latin. Improve your grammar, improve your English vocabulary. Get one more year with Mr. Herman, and then after I leave you, I get to hand you off to somebody who, I think he knows his, thing, his stuff. He is fairly good at this thing we call Latin. When you leave Mr. Herman's class, you will leave Dr. Massio. Hello, students of Mr. Herman. Yes, if you continue on with Latin into the eighth grade and all the way on through your senior year at Basis, you will be studying with me, and you will be studying such majestic texts as Virgil's Aeneid. And the aforementioned by Mr. Herman, Julius Caesar and his conquest of Gaul, or philosophical writings from Seneca about Stoicism and how we can all live a better life. So why take Latin in your years beyond the reasons that Mr. Herman has already mentioned? Well, did you know that 70% of English ultimately derives from Latin? Those who study Latin have better vocabularies, are better readers and better writers of the English language than those who study any other language. Because when you are studying Latin, you are studying English on a much deeper level, getting at the etymological, the true definition of words and their origins. As they say, 70% of them go back to Latin roots originally. 70% 70 that is correct, right? So you guys will be understanding English, appreciating English on a completely different level than any other students. Uh, this is shown from the results of SAT and ACT exams. Latin students score the highest on the verbal sections of any students. They also have the highest LSAT scores among any majors in college, those who major in classics, continuing their Latin career, right? So the benefits of Latin are pretty obvious in that way. Furthermore, the Latin literature you will study here at Basis is the basis, oh, terrible joke, right, of all of the humanistic tradition in the West. In other words, everything that's famous as an English poem, right, from Shakespeare to Milton, and beyond, right? All of these guys base their stuff on Latin poetry, Latin poetry which you'll be reading, right? The same for the traditions of history writing, known as historiography, Western philosophy, all of it being filtered from the ancient Greeks through Rome into 
the Enlightenment period, philosophy, if you're interested in that, that's something we study in Latin as well. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you might not be thinking about philosophy yet, maybe later on, but if you love mythology, all the heroes and monsters, and all of that, where do you think that comes from? That comes from the Greeks, right? And the Romans took all of that and put them all in their Latin poetry. So you'll be studying all that mythology throughout your time studying Latin. So Latin is challenging for critical thinking, rewarding in deepening your understanding in English, and it also is more subjects in one language than any other language for sure, because it is literature, philosophy, history, culture, all of these things in one. So please join up with us, uh, continue on with Mr. Herman, and then eventually wind up with me in Latin. We'd love to have you. Thank you.